online kitchen tool store is holding Woolworths ransom for a URL that was supposed to be Woolworths but because of a misspelled word the URL was incorrect. Joining me in Brand Central to discuss this is Paul Galatas, Marketing Director of Yuppie Chef. Thanks so much for joining us Paul. You know holding someone ransom and going public with it is quite interesting. Can you tell us a bit about what happened? Sure. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Yaron. Um, we, on Sunday night, last week, the 1st of February, we saw Woolies launch their first big campaign into social media called Woolies Lovebirds, with posters throughout their stores advertising, telling people to go to woolieslovebird.co.za to register and get involved in this Twitter campaign in the build-up to Valentine's Day. So we were interested. We were an online store, and we exist very much in that social media space. So we were fascinated to see what Woolies was up to. Uh, we also were quite interested in winning the 50,000 Rand prize. So we went along and uh, we typed in their web address, Woolies Lovebird. It didn't go anywhere. We tried again, it didn't go anywhere. And we realized that what they had done is they had made a mistake and left the S off the web address in all the advertising material that had gone into their stores countrywide. And when we checked on that address, we realized that it wasn't registered. It wasn't registered, so we registered it ourselves. Uh, the next morning, we had this hot piece of property which had been advertised throughout the country, um, pointing at our site, and we decided that we were going to do something good with it. And there's a charity called Soil for Life, who are a fantastic crowd of people. They help underprivileged people in Cape Town. Um, they teach them how to grow vegetables in front of their homes uh, in very, very poor areas. And um, we decided that we would post a ransom note to Woolworths saying to them that between now and 14th of February, uh, if they want their lovebirds back unscathed, they needed to match Rand for Rand what any Yuppie Chef fan donated to Soil for Life um, over the period of time. And we posted the, web the, sorry, we posted the uh, ransom note to our blog, and we sent it to Willie's, and we waited with bated breath. So how did they respond to all of this? Well, we were, we were very pleasantly surprised. Um, when we sent out the ransom, we put a cap on it of 5,000 Rand. We, um, we weren't doing it to extort money out of Woolies. Uh, we obviously wanted to raise awareness for Soil for Life. We wanted to earn some money for them. Um, and it was great exposure for us. Uh, but at the end of the day, a few people who we'd spoken to said, we think the story's fantastic, but hold your breath, because Woolies are going to come along with lawyers and big sticks. And they didn't. They contacted us at the end of the day. They said, we love the cause. We think you've done this fantastically. You've caught us unawares and it was a mistake on our part but we're going to pay your ransom and we're going to up it by two and a half grand to seven and a half grand which was fantastic so ryan from an agency point of view what is your thoughts on this well i mean apart from the fact that you must have been very nervous for those first few hours <laughs> after you sent it out <laughs> you know i mean I, I i've seen the kind of um legal wrangles that, that this sort of stuff can get you entailed in over the years and uh, and i think it's a fantastic result uh, that not just that Woolies has gotten behind it, but I understand from some of the communication that you guys have been involved in over the last few days that uh, you've had other major sp um, brands run on top as well. Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we didn't know at the beginning whether, the, whether we would raise a thousand rand or a million rand. Um, and so we set the target very conservatively at five. Um, to date, we've raised 79,000 rand. Um, our, our charitable contribution to Soul for Life and our support of Soul for Life will run for the whole year, but we are aiming to try and hit that 100,000 Rand mark as soon as possible. Um, we've had uh, Sandlam Developing Markets give us 10,000 Rand. We've had um, Philips South Africa give us 10,000 Rand. Standard Bank South Africa has given us 10,000 Rand. It's been incredible the response we've got. And then hundreds and hundreds of people who've heard it uh, all over the web um, in social media circles have come along and have donated and we're sitting on a total of 79 grand. So as a branding initiative then, if I think about it with the agency hat on, has there been a, a, a positive impact for your business from a, a commercial point of view? I mean, are your customers or your client base yeah. uh, sending through messages of, of positivity or have you seen increases in business Absolutely. over the last week? I, I would invite you to go to yuppieshift.co.za. You'll get a link that goes through to our blog and you can see the responses we've had there. Um, when we broke the news, the first people we told were our customers. Not when we broke the news, when we put the ransom up. We have a mailing list of about 9,500 people who we sent a news flash to. We are very selective as to when we send emails out. And this was news we had to tell them about. And the response we got was just overwhelming. 
So um, they're very much on board. From a brand perspective, it's been fantastic for Yuppie Chef. We, we're a fun brand. We're an honest brand. We're an open brand. Um, we, we're a great little company. We're a team of seven people. And having fun is a massive, massive part of our culture. So this, this fitted in really well. It kind of, in hindsight, it seems like it was, um, it was exactly what we would do in the circumstances, as nervous as we may have been for the lawyers. That's basically a win-win situation for you and Woolies. Yeah, at this absolutely. Stage. Oh.